Hello everyone, Max with A1 Website Pro here, and today we're going to be talking about our mouse and how we can enlarge the cursor arrow or shrink it or change the color. And so to get started, you want to go down here to your magnifying glass and just type in change your mouse settings. And you'll just see this little tab come up, change your mouse settings. Go ahead, click on that and it'll load up. Now over here on the right, you're going to see related settings. Click Adjust Mouse and Cursor Size. And when we do that, we see that we could change the cursor size. And as you scroll it to the right, you can actually see your cursor getting bigger. Or if you scroll it to the left, you can see it actually getting smaller. Okay, So you could do whatever's comfortable for you. And for the video's sake, I'm just going to leave it big because I'm going to show you a couple other things. You could change your pointer to black, like so. You can also change it to uh, the white and uh, black whenever you hover over something. You see how it changes there. You can also change it to this uh, uh, a different color if you want it purple or green or so on and so forth. Okay, Or you can pick a custom color. I like mine just with the plain white. And I like my size down here right around 4. It's fine with me. Okay, the other thing too is if you, you there's also additional mouse settings that you could go into uh, or additional mouse options that will bring up this little box so you could switch the, the left click and right click buttons. You can also uh, speed up or slow down your double click speed. You can turn on click lock and if you go to pointers here you can also uh, change these different schemes uh, for your pointer this will well this will also make them large the, your pointer large or small here's some more pointer options right here so whenever i take my mouse and i go across a speed like this with my mouse if i want that to increase in speed i could just do this and it'll go faster even though my mouse is i'm scrolling at the same speed okay so i like mine kind of somewhere in the center you can automatically move the pointer to a default button in a dialog box by clicking that snap to and if you want like uh, trails and let me show you what a trail is see how I move this mouse and there's a trail or you can have a short trail sometimes this enhances you know the visibility of the mouse whenever you're looking for it on say that you have you know three or four screens you can hide the pointer while typing if that's ticked or you can untick that so you're always seeing the pointer even when you're typing and then you can have uh, select this option show the location of the pointer when I kiss uh, when I press a control key so if I'm right here and I hit the control key you see how that circle comes up that's what that particular thing will do to so that's that's kind of helpful at times um, the wheel in the center of the mouse uh, you can control the vertical scrolling. You can roll the wheel one notch to scroll. Uh, and the following numbers at a time, you could go, you know, th three lines or four lines, you know, whenever you're uh, using the uh, scroll in the middle of the uh, mouse. I don't have something here to demonstrate it on. And then the same thing with the horizontal scrolling. A lot of times you'll have, if you're working on a Word document or a LibreOffice document, you'll have a scroll bar go over here, or even a browser. And then sometimes if it's too wide, you have the scroll bar going across the bottom. So that's what this is for. And then finally, you have the hardware here. When you're all done, you can click Apply, click OK, and that'll make all your uh, mouse settings take place. And you're ready to go. This is Max with AM Website Pro. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial on how to enlarge your cursor on Windows 10 and uh, do a few other things with it as well. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.